bitch gon' shake it, huh? Sit on my dick tryna break it. I throw some cash in that bitch gonna rake it. He flex some cash on the net, I'ma take it. They see some cash and they switch. Everything to say is close to me. Slut me out, slut me out, slut, slut, slut me out. So why don't you keep your mouth shut? And I know I'm gonna get eaten alive in the myth. Just reveal all of the Fatui agents. No one's gonna give a shit about those Sumeru characters. Put a finger down if you wanna finger me. Put a finger down if you wanna fuck me. Put a finger down if you can squirt. Put a finger down if you can creep in my face. And finally, put a finger down if you wanna marry me. I want you to jump rope and let booty naked right in my face so I can see that booty bounce on the maximum efficiency. I'm not gonna lie to you. I want that and I desire that. I need that. I'm dreaming about that. I look like shit right now, but these are some of my favorite tweets since the uh, teaser dropped. So starting off, we have my theory is that the Harbingers are collecting all the Gnosis because someone, child, keeps eating chess pieces and they can't play chess without them. 
Hoyoverse HQ. The players hate Subaru. Drop the sexy Fatui. No, no, no. Reveal Sumeru characters and no one bats an eye. Reveal Fatui and society goes crazy. The right side of the table can bend me over. What? Who said that? Sorry, I was so turned on. I forgot that's in fact a coffin. Don't look at me. Fatui Harbringer banners 7.0 in six years. Slay! Piro taking a day off from being Fatui to go drop Kaya and Mondstadt. Saritza, why are you requesting the 30th off, Piero? Um, I have to go take my son on a vacation, Saritza. Hmm, fine, it will be unpaid. Piero, anything else before we conclude this meeting? Child, yeah, I have something. Piero, exasperated sigh. Yes, Tartaglia. Check this shit out. <laughs> Maybe the real reason the Fatui keeps sending Child to distant countries is because he ruins their goth vibes during team meetings. Mike Wilmer. Mike Wilmer. I get so done, done with it. Yo ass. I've been dirty dancing, now the yelling gravy slays. Yeah, baby, you're so vicious, oh. you're so clean, so delicious. Cause I could tell us beating me up. I said girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Your mouth shut. We don't want to make the children Come on. I'm sorry.
Caller, time to head out on patrol. <laughs> The release of the Fatui Harbinger trailer has caused a resurgence of the chess theory amongst the lore community. What is the chess theory, you may ask? I'm your leafy lore streamer Minsleaf and this is Genshin Theories Demystified, where I explain the popular theories in the community. Chess theory finds its roots in the fact that noses are shaped like chess pieces and in slimes. The slimes can be paired into chess pieces via the items on their heads. Cryo and Geo have helmets signifying the rook. Pyrohydro with their horns may represent the knight. Electrodendro may represent the bishop. Notice how there are two electro slimes, one normal and one mutated, to represent both Makoto and A. Credits to Twitter lore keeper Windflower Leah for recreating a chessboard that Piero plays during the trailer. Zhongli's Geonosis does indeed seem to be the rook. Both kings on the board appear to be notably exposed, and in this position, black may actually be winning. The pyro crystal fly, possibly La Senora, lands on a fallen black pawn, perhaps signaling that the black side may be the Fatui, while the white side is Celestia. Interestingly, the only slime that doesn't have a companion is the Animo slime, its identifier being the wings on its head. A popular suggestion is that Venti's Gnosis may be the queen piece, which is seemingly supported by the chess positions in the trailer. There are two further discussions that come out of chess theory. Number 1. Time and wind are usually paired together as suggested by Ishtaroth lore and the unknown ruins in Mondstadt. Number 2. The king slime may be missing. The Ars Goetia list of demons, which is the source material for Genshin's Archon hierarchy, it is said that the demon Paimon is said to be one of the kings of hell. I'm your leafy lore streamer Minsleaf, and that was Genshin Theories Demystified.